2.5, equations of lines and linear models. We already know a few of the things in this lesson, like point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. You already know those things. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let the video catch up. Uh, you already know those formulas, so um, get them. Make sure you make sure you know you know them. Example one: Find an equation of a line through those two points in slope-intercept form, and then graph it. This feels very comfortable. You would want to start by finding the slope using the slope formula: y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 is 2, y1 is 4, x2 is 2, x1 is negative 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, we've got negative 1 half there. That's the slope. So if I want to write an equation, I think the easiest thing to do is go through point slope form. Point slope form says y minus the y number. I'm going to use this point because it's easier, I think equals our slope we just found, negative one-half, times x minus the x number. We've got an equation. Now we just want to change it to slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is okay with fractions. So if you're okay with fractions, let's go ahead and just distribute this negative one-half. Negative one-half x, and negative one-half times negative two is plus one. So we have y minus two equals and then just isolate the variable here. We're going to add that 2 over. And we'll get y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. That's our equation in slope-intercept form. Now to graph it, you've done this before. The y-intercept is 3, so you're going to put a dot right there at 3. The slope is negative 1 half, so you're going to go down 1 and write 2 and put a dot right there. Do that as many times as you want as many times as you need, and then shoot a line through. Like that. Number two, find the slope and y-intercept. Well, maybe the easiest thing to do is put it in slope-intercept form. So get y by itself. You can subtract 3x over... You can divide by that negative 4. You're just trying to isolate y. y equals positive 3 fourths x, and 12 over negative 4 is minus 3. So that's not the answer. I almost circled it, but that's not the answer. They want the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is this number right here, m equals 3 fourths. And the y-intercept is that number right there, b equals negative 3. Part b, we can see these things just by looking at the graph. There's not a lot of work to do. The y-intercept is just this point right here on the y-axis, b equals 5. For the slope, what you're going to want to do is, is pick two points and then... Um, count rise and run to get from point to point. You want to be careful about picking points because you want to pick one that's, uh, you want to pick them both to be on tick marks. So I think right here is probably a good idea. I've got those two red points. And what you notice is you'd count up five and right two. So rise five, run two, that would indicate your slope is five halves. Up five over two, rise five, run two. Find an equation of the line through those points in standard form. So start by finding the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 gives me negative 4 over plus plus 9. Slope is negative 4 ninths. So again, I think what you should do is go to point-slope form. 
Pick one of the two points and your slope, and you'd say y minus the y number equals the slope. That's a 4. Let's try that again. The slope negative 4 ninths times x minus the x number, so minus negative is going to be plus 4. We want standard form, and standard form does not like fractions. So if you're not going to have fractions, then this is where we would multiply by 9 so that we cancel out that fraction. Distribute the 9 on the left side. You have 9y minus 27, but on the right it cancels. That was the whole point. You're still going to distribute the negative 4, and we have negative 4x minus 16. We're getting close, but if we want standard form, we need that variable x on the left side, so we're going to take a hold of this minus 4x, and we're going to add it over, plus 4x plus 4x. So we'd end up with 4x plus 9y, but at the same time, we're also going to take this negative 27 and add it over to the right. So negative 16 plus 27 is 11, and there we have it. There's my equation in standard form. Next, find the equations of horizontal and vertical lines through that point. So what people will always do here that mess it up is they think about the x and y axis, and they say, well, x is horizontal, so they make the x number the horizontal line. But that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Think about the point. Let's say you have a point at 5, negative 2. The horizontal line through that point goes through the y-axis. It's a y number of negative 2. So for the horizontal line, you would look at the y number. y equals negative 2. Your vertical line goes through the x-axis at 5. So a lot of people will get this backwards. Horizontal line is your y number. Vertical line is your x number. They might also ask you something about the slope. So be sure you know that the horizontal line is going to have a slope of 0, and the vertical line is going to have a slope that is undefined. Undefined slope. Parallel and perpendicular. Parallel lines, their slopes are the same. Perpendicular lines, their slopes are opposite. reciprocals. And what I mean by that is this. If you have an equation and the slope is 2, then the slope of any line that's parallel to that is also 2. Parallel lines have the same slope. Notice my notation. That, that little notation is talking about parallel. The parallel slope. So for perpendicular, if you have a line with a slope of 3 fourths, then the slope of any line that's perpendicular, it's like an upside down T, is the opposite reciprocal. So flip it and change the sign. The opposite reciprocal slope would be negative 4 thirds. Those two slopes indicate perpendicular. So number 5, find an equation through 2 negative 4. Or A says in slope-intercept form that's parallel to that. I want to remind you of another way of finding slope. Slope with a equation in standard form. Remember you have a formula that's negative A over B. Or I should say opposite A over B. Opposite of the A value, which was 3, over the B value, which was negative 2. So that's going to be positive 3 halves. There's your slope. The slope of this line is 3 halves. Now, I don't really care about that because I want to talk about the parallel. So the slope of any line that's parallel to my line 
three halves also. Parallel lines have the same slope. So I want to do what I've already done a couple of times. Write an equation in point-slope form. Point-slope says y minus the y number equals the slope times x minus the x number. But then they're telling me I have to have slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form doesn't care about fractions, so I'm going to go ahead and just distribute. 3 halves x. And 3 halves times 2, the 2's would cancel out. So it's going to be 3 times negative. That's going to be negative 3. Right there. Last thing, subtract that 4 over. y equals 3 halves x minus 7. Here's my equation in slope-intercept form that's parallel to the original line. Part B says in standard form, and we want it perpendicular to the same equation. Okay, so perpendicular. They already gave me the slope of that equation. So the slope of any line that's perpendicular would be the opposite reciprocal of that, negative two-thirds. So do what we do. Start in point slope. Y minus the Y number equals the slope, negative two-thirds, times X minus the X number. Notice we want standard form this time. Standard form doesn't want fractions. So if I don't want fractions, I'm probably going to multiply both sides by 3. And so if I distribute, I'd have 3y plus 12 equals, the 3's cancel. I'm going to distribute a negative 2, and I get negative 2x plus 4. Move things around to make standard form. I'm going to take this negative 2x and I'm going to add it over. So I'll have 2x plus 3y. And at the same time, I'm going to take this 12 and subtract it. 4 minus 12 is negative 8. There's my equation in standard form.